What was what the hell was that, man? Huh? No, man. Like, hey, man. Wow, I was watching this object, man. Like, like the satellite that we saw the other night, right? And like it was just going right across the sky, man. And then, I mean, it just suddenly, yeah, uh, <laughs> it just changed direction and went uh, whizzing right off, man. <laughs> it flashed. You stoned out of your mind, man. Oh yeah, man. Hey, like I'm stoned, you know, man. But like, you know, I saw a satellite. And it was going across the sky, and it flashed three times at me, and zigzagged and whizzed off, man. And I saw it. <sighs> that was a UFO beaming back at you. Me and Eric Heisman was down in Mexico two weeks ago. We seen 40 of them flying in formation. They, 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 they have got bases all over the world now, you know. They've been coming here ever since 1946, when the scientists first started bouncing radar beams off of the moon. And they have been living and working among us in vast quantities ever since. The government knows all about them. What are you talking, man? Hmm. Well, you just seen one of them, didn't you? Hey, man, I saw something, man, but I didn't see it working here, you know what I mean? They are people just like us from within our own solar system, except that their society is more highly evolved. I mean, they don't have no wars. They got no monetary system. They don't have any leaders because, I mean, each man is a leader. I mean, each man, because of their technology, they are able to feed, clothe, house, and transport themselves equally and with no effort. Wow. Well, you know something, man? I think... You want to know what I think? I think this is a crackpot idea. That's what I think. How about that? <laughs> How about a little of that? think it's a crackpot idea. I mean, if they're so smart, why don't they just reveal themselves to us, huh? And get it over with. <laughs> why don't they reveal themselves to us is because if they did, it would cause a general panic. Now, I mean, we still have leaders upon whom we rely for the release of this information. These leaders have decided to repress this information because of the tremendous shock that it would cause to our antiquated systems. Now, the result of this has been that the Venusians have contacted people at all walks of life. All walks of life. <laughs> Yes. It would be a devastating blow to our antiquated systems. So now the Venusians are meeting with people in all walks of life in an advisory capacity. For once, man will have a godlike control over his own destiny. He will have a chance to transcend and to evolve with some equality for all. How's your joint, George? Oh my, I believe, I believe it went out. I got, I got to talking so much I clean forgot about, uh, went out. Well, save it. We'll do it tomorrow morning first thing, right? Gives you a whole new way of looking at the day. <laughs> well, I sure could use that. <laughs> yes, I sure could use a little of that. <laughs>